Hey there, how are you doing? It's Michael from the Recovery Team, providing you with practical data solutions on how to save data from raw partitions. And yes, today's video is really easy to understand, but yet very effective, because it's gonna show you how to get your files back from these raw partitions. Let's get started. Uh, okay, first question, what is a raw partition? Well, essentially that's a partition which doesn't have a file system assigned to it, or could be a partition that used to have a file system, then an occurrence happened and this file system was gone. Without the file system, the files which physically reside on a drive would be pretty much useless. Why? Because they would be indistinguishable and unusable and inaccessible and Pretty much that's bad. I'm gonna simplify this for you. Well, on one side these files would be pretty much inaccessible or even if you can see the files, if you double click on a video file, there's gonna be no playback. If you try to open a document, it wouldn't open pretty much. No way to handle any operations with files or folders. We've had plenty of videos where we talk about file systems and you've probably heard about FAT or FAT16 or 32 or XFAT, which is more popular on portable devices. There also is NTFS and NTFS5. They simply instruct your computer on how to tell the difference between your pictures, videos, audio, documents, software and many other types of data. If you're curious what is the file system on your home computer, well, that's pretty simple to figure out. Just open this PC or my computer, depending on which Windows version you're running, right-click on the C or on the D drive and go to Properties. As soon as the Properties window pops up, you're going to see which is the definite file system used in this scenario. Okay, if your drive is marked as row, let's agree that there's something not right and you need to be prepared to figure out what is wrong, how to troubleshoot and which are the possible outcomes. So we're going to highlight the few possible scenarios. The most common thing, there's gonna be difficulties reading the files. Sometimes you may also see your files named with very weird combination of characters or letters that just seem off. These are all warnings and signs that you shouldn't ignore. Another very common scenario, you take your microSD out, you put it into your computer, you immediately get a pop-up that you need to format the drive. Well, wait, don't do that. As soon as you're asked to format the drive, it means that all sort of data which is currently residing on the drive, no matter whether it's supposed to be saved or not, is going to be rewritten. So that drastically decreases the chances of you saving any information if you do the format. So uh, that's our tip. If you get this prompt, don't do it. Make sure to figure out whether there have been files before that and prior to the insertion and whether you need to recover them. The third possible scenario is very similar. You just don't get the prompt about format. You just see the drive, it's there and it's marked as row. And there's gonna be no data available, but you probably would know that there are some files which were residing on that very same drive probably a few days ago. Now the question is how to recover all that? Wondershare is the company and brains behind Recover It Data Recovery. This premium data recovery software is known all over the web for its easiness of usage and the reliability for recovering lost, formatted or deleted data. Recover It is more than capable of getting everything back. All right, onwards with our main point of focus. Um, let's prepare to recover our data. Probably one question you're gonna be asking yourself, uh, the internet is full of recommendations for various recovery solutions, so why should we pick Recover It? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Years of experience and sophisticated algorithms that we keep on developing for such a long time and, well, let's say you have one single shot to make sure that you're going to do this recovery the right way. Well, that definitely sounds like Recover It. Let's not waste any time and launch the app. Recovery's user interface is clean, simple, immediately hints at how easy navigation is going to be. You're going to see all the storage devices connected to your system right on the first page, so no need for you to keep clicking or refreshing whatever. Click on the road drive, then click the start button located in the bottom right, and the show begins. The software will proceed to scan your drive. Recovery can even speed up the scanning process while still retaining efficiency. Look at the left of the page you're currently on 
and you're gonna find some checkboxes. Each one shows a different type of a file that the software is scanning through. All you have to do is to check or tick the files that you want to be recovered. The scan will eventually end and you're gonna see a clean list of all the data that the software found. Now, you can recover all your files by ticking a single button that selects everything or if you just want particular files and nothing more, tick the checkboxes you see beside each file. But never store the recovered files on the raw drive again. Save them and export them to any other storage device that you find reliable. Alright, now you have all your important files successfully recovered and stored in a location that you trust. Well, our job is partially done. The next thing is that you still have this raw partition, so we need to figure out a way how to put a file system on top of it. Well, that's pretty simple. You need to format the drive. Go to my computer or this PC, right click on the raw drive and select Format. In the wizard, choose the preferred file system. You could go for NTFS or any other file system that you find suitable. Click the Quick Format option and finally click on the Start button to initiate the process. At the end, was that easy? I promised you, pretty simple to follow tutorial, yet very effective. And I think we managed to deliver that. If not, or if you have any follow-up questions, then feel free to ask in the comment section right below this episode. No matter what you do, if you notice that a drive which previously had a file system is now marked as raw, and then make sure to take the necessary actions in order to prevent any data loss. And should you end up with files that cannot be recovered at the first sight, then make sure to get Recover It. More information and links you can find here below the video. Uh, also, for more practical data solutions and in order not to miss any of our next episode, subscribe. My name is Michael, it's been a pleasure to have you around and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode where again we'll talk about practical data solutions. Bye!